Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Aftermarket CPU coolers are something that most of you will go for more and more even if you don't do any overclocking as they provide before all better cooling performance and also in most of the cases they produce less noise. One of the more famous manufacturer out there when it comes to more value oriented models is definitely Arctic. I had a chance to check out a lot of their products before. This time brought in two new pretty interesting models that fit different price brackets, the Freezer 12 and the Freezer 33 Plus. The more budget-friendly Freezer 12 model with 92mm fan looks to be a cheaper spin-off version of its very popular brother, the Freezer 13, which dates back to 2010. The Freezer 33 series is also new, just a couple of months old product, while this Plus version has two 120mm dual-bearing fluid dynamic fans for push-pull configuration, instead of just one which is found in the, so to speak, regular model. So it's more beefed up and basically that's the reason why it has that plus in the naming. They both support AM4 platform among everything else, so I will see how they stack up in that field too by putting them onto a Ryzen 7 1700X CPU beside my usual Core i7 6700K testing. As you can see, they both have single tower cooler design, but the Freezer 33 Plus has a taller fin stack, 49 versus 45 with Freezer 12, and it also has 0.1mm thicker fins, although the Freezer 12 is pretty beefy when it comes to width, looking at it from its profile. The copper heat pipe count is also higher in the Freezer 33 Plus model, 4 in total with 6mm of diameter, while the Freezer 12 has 3, but they both have the same way of making contact with the C CPU, and that's directly over the decently polished heat pipes, so basically without the addition of the copper CPU cooler base, you just have the heat pipes themselves, which in case of the Freezer 12 doesn't cover a lot of CPU surface as it has a small amount of them, so it's not that wide. Installing them onto the socket was fairly easy, being it with Intel or AMD, it's very similar. There is some aiming to be done, but you should be finished in less than 10 minutes. They have a bit of annoying way of installing, since you have to align a few components perfectly in order to screw down everything properly. While the Freezer 12 has limited space around itself to work with its installation kit, since it's pretty bulky, especially in the case of the AM4 socket. With the Freezer 12, it's a bit easier to pull off its 92mm fan in order to get to everything as it comes pre-installed, whereas with the Freezer 33, installation of the fans comes in last after everything is said and done using these clips and rubber anti-vibration pads. Although they are a good add-on, it seems like Arctic left too much space between the cooler's tower and the second fan in particular, so it's basically impossible to just friction mount the fan in one place without them, as it will just be completely misaligned as you can see it here. As I said before, among almost everything from Intel, except the 1366 and 775 sockets, they both support AMD's AM4 socket, but only it when it comes to their platforms. When it comes to RAM clearance, I am giving them a solid thumbs up. Both do not cross over into the space above the slots. Freezer 12 just a bit over the closest for the slot, but generally speaking, if you use only two sticks, you won't have any worries. You can basically use any kit you want, while in terms of the first PCI Express slot clearance, you're good to go in both cases, as you can see it here. Taking a look at the temperatures, under idle being it on AMD's or Intel's platform, both were roaming around same numbers, 26 to 27 degrees Celsius for the Ryzen 7 1700X and 26 to 28 degrees Celsius for the Core i7 6700K. Taking a look at the load temperatures, advantage of the more equipped, so to speak, Freezer 33 Plus finally pushes in front of the Freezer 12. Comparing stock load temperatures with the Ryzen 7 1700X, the Freezer 33 Plus gets around 5 degrees Celsius less than the Freezer 12.
implementing some overclocking into it, the Freezer 12 cannot keep up with it and cannot hold the Ryzen 7 1700X temperature under 70 degrees Celsius limit, which is a break point for this CPU as it usually starts to get unstable or just crashes completely above that limit, while the Freezer 33 Plus managed to keep the CPU fully stable with temperatures mostly around 64 to 65 degrees Celsius. Load stock temperatures with Intel's 6700K under them, with Freezer 33 Plus I was seeing core temperatures anywhere from 50 to 65 degrees Celsius, with peaks up to 70 degrees Celsius, while Freezer 12 roamed more from 55 to 70 degrees Celsius, with peaks up to 75 degrees Celsius, so again around 5 degrees Celsius difference between them. Bumping the core frequency to 4.6 GHz and increasing the voltage to 1.3 volts, Freezer 33 Plus was peaking to about 80 degrees Celsius with averages between 60 to 70 degrees Celsius, while with the Freezer 12 the cores were anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees hotter. Just have in mind that this was all done on an open test bed, so the results can vary a few degrees up or down, depending on your chassis, airflow and setup of other fans in it. Both models have an interesting feature and that is that their fans turn off if the CPU is in idle or to be precise if the PWM signal is under 40% which indicates to fans that the CPU is not under load, so basically a form of semi-passive mode seen on graphics cards. Of course this feature can depend from CPU to CPU and before all from motherboard to motherboard and their fan profile and PWM target settings, so if it doesn't work right out of the box try to play with it a bit in their UEFI BIOS fan settings. For example, the fan on the Freezer 12 with default settings almost never stopped working. It was usually spinning at around 700 to 900 RPM in idle and that was producing around 40 dB of noise, so you will definitely need to play around with fan settings and adjust the temperature limit and PWM ratio, while the fans on the Freezer 33 Plus model were 90% of the time off in idle or even light load. Under full load the noise probe profile would of course get a bit louder, around 43 dB for the Freezer 13 and 44 to 45 dB for the Freezer 33. Overall I think Arctic once again proved why it needs to be on the market and why we as users need them and why and how they gained their reputation to begin with, building good quality value products without breaking the bank. I would try to be a bit more aggressive on the pricing though since the competition is getting stronger by the day and this would additionally help them securing their piece of market share on the long run for sure. That's it guys for this time from me, thank you once again for watching, feel free to toss me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, that really helps me a lot, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this product or if you want to leave your suggestions and of course feel free to subscribe for content further down the line where you can just check out some of my other videos from before. Until then, catch you later guys!